Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Sumi Sauce, and welcome to the second episode of Yap, the Yapping Anywhere podcast. I almost forgot what the name was for a second, um, <laughs> which is totally normal because it's a thing. And so, I'm going to start this episode off first with um, a question. Uh, I got a question from one of you guys, uh, one of the uh, members of the Discord server. If you guys don't know, there is a link to the Discord server down in the description if you're curious about it. So, the question that was asked to me was, or what was stated to me was, um, I feel very empty, like I have zero motivation to do something. And it's been six to seven days and it's gotten worse do you have any idea on how to fix it so first of all i've been there i i've been there like most of my life where you just it's got the two stages the first one is like you feel very you feel very like inspired to do something you get really excited to get pumped up and then you go and do it you start it and then you kind of you lose like you lose like the drive you lose like that special like feeling the vibe of it and it really starts to impact you so much because you first you're just like is something wrong with me and then as time goes on you just have like there's like nothing it's like there's nothing that's left in there and you just feel like you just feel like a shell of your previous self so that's the that's phase one the phase two of that is like you have like no motivation at all like you've like nothing and it's just you didn't really have any any in the beginning and you didn't really even notice you had anything and then it's just like one day you wake up and it, you feel a hole almost like there's a hole in your heart so obviously like i guess what we're talking about is mostly depression and it it, it, it affects everyone differently right but for me like what i ended up doing to like f- not really fix it but to kind of get to the bottom of it was I basically just started learning about what are the things that make me sad or what are the things that make me unhappy and like for example if I enjoy creation if I enjoy making things if I enjoy building stuff what would be like the opposite thing that makes that not happen so basically what I mean is like I would go about looking at what do I do to not allow myself to create so procrastination, um, putting things off, which is procrastination again, avoiding, avoiding like the thing I need to do. So avoidance, um, making excuses, you know, uh, that's also avoidance. I guess you could say, I guess you could say it's all the same thing, but I basically would just do these things to avoid the thing that helped me to reach that level, that, that great feeling. So I would avoid doing the, the, the steps or taking the steps that I would need in order to make myself feel good about creating or like feel the good feeling that I would get from creating. And I don't want to tell you or anyone who's watching this or listening to this that this is a simple solution because it's not. And it can lead down to many different paths. One of them could be like, you know, I which I do recommend like talking to a doctor or a trained physician or whatever right therapist um but i also would recommend writing down how you feel writing down what you want writing down what makes you happy um being very kind of aware of like the stuff that really brings joy to be honest with you like right now this brings me joy like in a weird way like being able to talk about this just yap while drinking some tea and drinking some uh, lemon ginger tea with some honey in it top notch bro top notch one second and just like spending a lot of time thinking i think a lot i like to sit and just like ponder and uh most of the time i don't have an ability to kind of do anything with what i think about so right now being able to talk or yap (laughs) about like just all these things is great and it's actually bringing me like a lot of joy because it allows me to connect and allows me to like get this weight off my chest or kind of do something with, well, it's almost like doing something with my hands, you know, like I, like I got to do some with my hands, bro. I can't let's have them here. And so 
specifically to like this uh, this situation, I think that the best thing to do when it comes to motivation and trying to find it is to almost stop looking. Stop looking for motivation. Stop mo- like motivation isn't really a great thing anyways because it's not long term. Motivation is like it's like the match to start a fire, right? But if the fire goes out, what do you do? What happens when you run out of matches, right? You got to find something that's going to help sustain yourself. And that's where the writing comes down because you you have to answer the, you have to answer these questions for yourself like why are you doing what you're doing? What brings you joy? What is your purpose? What like have you ever, have you even thought about that? We we can make it even simpler. Like what is your favorite color? Um what's your favorite food? What and then you can go you can do the inverse and which is really great too. What's your biggest fear? You know, what uh what 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 is the thing that you hate? Um, what what brings you pain? What makes you sad? What makes you? I don't know if I just said that. I think I might have. It's also super late. It's like it's pretty late right now. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is you want to ask all these questions, and and specifically you want to ask yourself all the obvious questions, so you can figure out. You have all this fundamental. You have, you have like this 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 base. You have this structure, and once you have this this base, this foundation, you'll know like okay. Now I know what I hate, and now I know what I want to avoid, and now I know not to go there. And there's like, there's like this really great, uh, really great quote uh, from uh, Charlie Munger. You can go and search him up. He's an amazing person. Um, he says, or he said, because he's no longer, he's no longer alive. But he said, um, "Tell me." where I'm going to die and I'll make sure I just avoid that place. Now I'm paraphrasing, so I'm not getting the quote proper, but it's somewhere along the lines. And, um, I mean, I could pull it up right now. Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? I can pull it up. I pull it up right now. Okay. Let's see this. Let's see. This. Let me pull this up right now. He says, okay. Charlie's favorite. Fav- Charlie's famous quote is, all I want to know is where I'm going to die, so I'll never go there. So basically, what you want to do is you just want to figure out all these fundamental truths, which will help you to be able to know what you don't want. And then you can start to focus on things that you do want, because once you find what you hate, you'll naturally start to find what you love. And for me, I I, I hate like I hate doing things the same way that everyone else does it. I hate being I hate being just average and I hate being like safe kind of like doing things for the sake of fitting in and for like not standing out too much and just to kind of flow with the rest of the people like even what am I even doing right now you know I ask myself that and I like that I like that I ask myself like what am I doing like this is so weird this is strange like I was the kid that everyone made fun of in school growing up because they're just like you're so weird you're so different like I don't fit into like the normal box. And so for me, like I always at a young age, I would ask myself these questions like, what do, like, who am I? What am I doing? Like, why am I doing what am I, what I am doing? What makes me happy? What makes me excited? And what makes me happy is making you guys happy. Like I, I, I've always loved bringing joy to others and like, making people feel connected and to feel inspired and to feel genuine love that that makes me happy and i mean i'm trying to find my own weird ways of doing it on a bigger scale so having talks like this and just kind of yapping it's quite nice but that took a while for me to figure that out i had to sit and i had to think and i still do that every day i was burnt out a couple days ago from making youtube content and uh it's funny now because if you look at my channel, you'll see that I'm posting more, but it's because I spent some time, I actually spent a few hours just, I actually went for a drive and I just like, I went to somewhere just random, just alone. And I just sat in my car and I just thought about life. I actually thought very, very intensely about so many things. Um, for me as well too, like, um, my, my, like, this is coming up soon, actually anniversary. Or I shouldn't say never so I should say birthday um, for my my dad who passed away. Uh, it'll be 
two years coming up and like it's heavy but that makes me think about how important it is to do things that make you actually feel alive and to help others or, or to do something that's going to like have an impact and i only know this again because i sat down and i wrote it down and i thought about it a lot and i kind of go back to it often and to be honest with you i need to write more to help get the ideas out of my head and onto like into the real world and that's what that's kind of like what i'm doing right now and so for those of you who are struggling with stuff and specifically to that person who's struggling with like figuring out what their motivation is or like why like why why do they feel so off or whatever i would say spend some time just not thinking so much about it and just do the things that you know brought you joy before and if you're not sure about what those things are well then start looking at the things that you hate start looking at all the stuff that you avoid and the things that you just <laughs> make your skin crawl and uh who knows maybe you might find that the thing that makes you happy is maybe it's like maybe it's it's playing with lego maybe it's building stuff maybe it's photography maybe it's maybe it, it, it's painting maybe it's drawing maybe it's writing maybe it's turning your camera on and being an idiot on the screen for a couple of seconds and posting it on social media maybe it's maybe it's like taking time to like write a write a novel right like maybe it's creating fictional characters or maybe it's studying someone famous and then writing your own review of their life and like maybe it's finding a bunch of quotes from from someone who is very famous for a long time for something and then putting it in one place and like sharing that with people and maybe it's not sharing with anyone maybe it's just doing that thing that brings you kind of peace and that could be the thing that helps bring back or helps create a foundation for you and helps make you grow and like I just think that this is so important and a lot of you guys are probably wondering like why is he posting why is he doing this stuff on a gaming channel like what's he doing what's what he doing what's, what's bro doing i'm just living life man like you guys wondered so much where my name comes from sumi sauce and how you spell that t s u m i sauce a lot of you guys wonder where that name comes from right and it's like <laughs> stupid joke that i always say it's like you know life is about the finer things you know it's about the spice you know it's about like it's about the things that like you know it's like a taste you know like you like you you want to it's almost like how do i describe this, this is, i'm getting kind of terrible with it but basically i'm trying to wing it right now with my explanation but basically it's just you know we talk about how things are finite like life doesn't last forever like things don't last forever but one thing that does last forever if you open up your fridge or your cupboard or whatever you know you got juice in there you got apple juice orange juice pineapple juice whatever types of juice bro how long does that last once you open it up not that long for me in my house juice doesn't last that long it's gone like sometimes not even a day sometimes not even like half a day sometimes not even 10 minutes it's just gone but if I look in my cupboards or in my fridge or whatever, and I, I look for hot sauce or barbecue sauce or like soy sauce, any type of sauce, bro, that's sauce is forever, man. Juice is temporary, right? And so like we got to focus more on the, on the sauce, focus more on the sauce. And that's the foundation, you know, for every great meal, there's usually some type of sauce that's, that's associated with it. And, uh, we need to focus more on that because that is the spice of life. That is the thing that helps bring such divine connection and experiences. And like, you know, we take that for granted. We take the sauce for, we take the sauce for granted, guys. We take the sauce for granted, bro. Dang, that's deep, bro. Someone better quote me on that. That's deep, bro. We take it for granted. And I honestly think that that could be the, one of the sources of depression in this day and age because we're so hyper-connected and but we're so lonely we're so distant from others it's like we we don't know how to like i was reading this one stat it's like a lot of people that are like younger they don't even know how to type but like they've been around computers so much they grew up with it they grew up with like tablets and like ipads and crap right it's like they don't know how to type it's crazy but 
aside from all that, um, I just think it's really important to kind of have these conversations. It's important to like, you know, talk about these things. It's so important to like do this personal work. I don't want to call it homework because that has P I have PTSD with that. We're hearing that word, but I think it's just really important for us to sit down and just like think sometimes just like kind of turn everything off and just really think and be like, okay, why am I doing what I'm, why am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I friends with the friends that I have? Why am I, why am I wearing the colors that I'm wearing? You know, why do I, why do I play the games that I play? And why do I enjoy them? Like you guys know my channel. And if you don't, I mostly play a lot of Roblox. I do play a lot of other games too, but I keep coming back to Roblox. Number one, because there's a huge community, but number two, because it's, it's such a special, it's got such a special place in my heart because it's, for me, it's like a, it's like a, it's a part of my childhood that I could never give up. It's like Lego. It's like, I mean, Minecraft is there too. There's just like, it's just such an important part for me. And I know that the older that I grow, I've decided already that I don't want to have a life where I'm not gaming. I'm not doing some type of thing that has to do with games. If it's not there, I don't want it, I don't want that to be part of my life. And, um, same thing goes with like being creative. If I'm not able to do something in my future that allows me to actually be authentic to me, and to build and to create and to make something new and to draw and to paint and to possibly act and to like just create new things and put them into existence. If I'm not able to do that, it's not for me, bro. It's not for me. And it took me a long time to figure that out. It took me a long time to figure that out, but I'm so happy that I spent the time doing it. However, I will say that it's unfortunate because not a lot of people encouraged me to do that. Not a lot of people told me to like sit down and really think about what it is that I want. It was more so like, you got to do this. You got to be this type of person. You got to like do things this way. Um, even right now with what I am doing, it's like you got to edit this. You got to cut out all the ahs and ums and you got to like, you know, there shouldn't be any music in the background and there shouldn't be this and that. And it's like, I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing, but I want to try it and I want to fail so that I can learn for myself. And then it doesn't matter what happens in the future because I can look back at this and I can be like, you know what, I did this. And if it sucks, whatever, bro. If I look like an idiot, whatever, dude, because I feel like I look like an idiot, but like whatever, it's gonna be like, that's the, it's, it's life. And I'm just really happy that I'm able to kind of do this and to do it in this way and in this manner. And I know that things are gonna change as life goes on, as things, as we all grow as like, I don't know, man, it's a lot, but I hope that kind of answered your question. And I hope that helped out. I hope it helps somebody, someone somewhere. I hope that this, this weird kind of podcast with me just yapping, I hope it helps you out because, you know, I wish that I had this when I was younger. I wish that I had like, someone yapping in my ear kind of like this and telling me stuff and so i feel like it's my it's my duty <laughs> i feel like it's my duty to not only make hilarious content where it's just so off the it's just so crazy or just being so silly but i also feel like it's important to have the the juxtaposition so like the balancing act and the other end where it's like on the left side this guy's full-on brain rot this guy's saying some crazy stuff he's talking straight skibbity gat ohio rizzler all this jazz but on the other end he's talking about how there's such an intricacy sorry is there such an intricacy when it comes to uh you know the the, the changes in society and how important and important it is for us to be free in ways that we express ourselves and that the true liberation comes from you just doing the thing that makes you excited and yeeting that thing out into the universe if we didn't do that, we wouldn't have anything, bro. We wouldn't have nothing. We wouldn't have YouTube, bro. We wouldn't have Diddly Squat. We wouldn't have. We wouldn't have no sauce. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't have sauce, and you need that sauce because you ain't got that sauce. Then you're just wasting time, bro. 
there's an old quote if you don't know you don't grow and if you don't grow you don't know still remember that think about that <laughs> write that down <laughs> anyway i have a lot of things that i'm trying to do that i'm trying to achieve and um this is like a time capsule right now that i'm that i'm doing and i'm hoping that it, it, it impacts someone i'm hoping even if it helps just one person that's all that matters to me and that's why i make the content that i make and low-key high-key man i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i really don't know what i'm doing but i'm enjoying it and i think that's the most important part where as long as as long as you feel good after you've done the thing that you're doing you're on the right path because everyone's path is different everyone has talents specialties skills but not a lot of people take the time to actually figure out where to put those things you got all these pegs but you don't know where to, what hole to put it into and I think that once we spend the time to sit down and think about that and figure that out for ourselves it gets easier and it gets better regardless of what anyone else has to say and I'll end this with saying one last thing that relates entirely to my content that I make as well too sure I started off doing something doing one thing but it's going to change over time because that is just the evolution of self I'm changing constantly I'm learning new things I'm seeing new things I'm experiencing new things and that impacts just what I put out and I wouldn't want it any other way so I'm Sumi Sauce I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a yapping session. This is episode number two. And uh, without further ado, I present to you the closing segment <laughs> of this here cast. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to see more, you want to check out more, you want to experience more on the channel, then go ahead and check out the rest of the stuff I got on the channel and uh, drop a comment down below let me know if you guys have ever feel like, felt like this before if you've ever been depressed if you've ever felt unmotivated and you know what's the thing that you're that you hate that you want to avoid or that you know whatever just share something cool share something cool do that anyways guys take care brush your hair and i'll see y'all on the next one Sumi sauce. Out. peace out